what's happening, guys? So today I'm coming at you with the Hot Wheels Flame. I guess this is 2020 version of it. And guys, as you can see, pretty much, there's some pretty cool cards in here. Take a look at the artwork. And so we have the Maverick. This is a pretty cool card in itself. And they show you some of the cards that's in there. The Passing Gasser, the 71 El Camino, the 70 Plymouth Superbird, the 71 Maverick Grabber, and the 70 Road Runner. I think this is pretty cool. I had the uh, five pack before when it first came out. Sorry about that, guys. So then I had to pick this one up. So as most people know, I, I like flame cars to an extent. See the sides, the flames on it. Hot Wheels flames. So guys, we're gonna open this bad boy up. And we're gonna take a look at it. All right, let's, let's get it open. So this is a trick that I learned from from Saul on how to open this up and still make it look presentable. So basically, I just cut this in and it should open up fairly easy. And that's what it looked like, guys. We have to cut it. You can just take it right out. All right. So let's do this bad boy in the background. Let's take a look at the first one. And it is, guys, the passing gasser. Let me throw on the wheel. Get you in nice and close. Sweet casting. Let's get to the spin, guys. So I still haven't changed the batteries on this bad boy. <laughs> it has good moments. And bad. Yeah, sorry about it's coming out to be a little bit darker than I uh oh, oh, sorry. Darker than I planned. So some spots might be a little bit darker. Sorry about that, guys. But that is the passing gas. See, it's pretty sweet. I'll tell you what. Let me put you on pause. So guys, I'm back. After fixing my issue. And let's say we're looking at the passing gasser. And you guys can see his, I don't know if it's purple, plum, but it's still good looking. And as you can see the black and purple flames. It's a pretty sweet car. I mean, pretty sweet set, period. 
I like the passing gas. I think it's one clue car. So up next, guys, after all of the chaos, we're going to come at you with this El Camino. It's sooner and more. I was a fan of El Camino's. I thought it was cool. A car with a... <laughs> that looked like a truck. It was sweet. But this one is also pretty cool. I like the flame work on here. Like, there's no whole lot of detail going on. But the flame work itself is pretty good. And the rims, okay, so we have like the matte gray with some red and gray flames. The wheels themselves are gray. So not a bad piece. If I had more light, you probably could see the interior, but it looked like it might be gray also. Which is cool. I think they're all pretty cool when it comes down to it. Now, I love these cars. Superbirds, the Daytonas, wing cars. I really, I really like these cars. And this one is a beauty. I think I have one that's flame. This one is also awesome looking also. The blue and the red flames flying off of it. Then you guys can see the the red semi-chrome. <laughs> I can't say semi-chrome, but the red rims make this car pretty much set off pretty good. Again, my lighting is not right. You can't see it like I would like you to see it, but you get the idea. Like the interior. Is gray or is that white? Again, sorry for the lighting. I wasn't prepared to do this. But when you know how it is, when you can't sleep sometimes, you just get up and do something and try to get yourself to fall asleep. So basically, guys, I'm unprepared. <laughs> I'm going to make this video for you guys. This one I think is pretty cool. That's that Maverick Grabber. I think the Maverick is also pretty cool, period. I know I told you guys a long time ago, a friend of mine's, we had a Maverick. We used to call it the Tonka. It's because every time you look at it, it just makes you think of a Tonka car. But we got around a lot in that little car. It wasn't that big. And you figure you got four guys, at least almost six feet or better, getting in this little bitty car. Yeah, it just bring back memories. I think when he left Cali, he brought it back to Louisiana with him. I think he told it. But I haven't heard from him in a while, so... 
hopefully everything was okay with them. I'm trying to get, get you a little better centering, guys. Sorry. I'm just improvising at the moment. But it's another sweet. Love the flame work. It's not a whole lot of flames. It's just enough to accent the car. I don't think none of them like over the top flames, which is great. Because sometimes you get cars, you got flames all over everywhere. But these are in the right places. And that makes these cars look awesome. Okay, guys. The last one. It's the 70 Roadrunner. This one has like a matte, matte red paint job. So it's the black and red flames. Um, yeah, it's somewhat red, but. Another one of these crazy looking cars. Again, the flame work is subtle. It's not over the top. Great looking car. Nice, nice, nice car. Yeah, I was looking one day. I remember they used to sell tree packs here. Do they still sell tree packs anywhere, anywhere, anymore? <laughs> anywhere, anywhere. God, you know I'm tired. But I haven't seen a tree pack in a while. I thought those were pretty cool. At least you had two decent cards in there. And sometimes you got lucky, you got three. I have to see if I can start finding those again. But guys, this is the look. So as always guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoy my video because I definitely like showing it to you guys. I want to thank everybody for your support. I really appreciate that. And if you're new to the channel, thank you for coming aboard. And as always guys, check out my comment section and check out some of my friends. You definitely will enjoy what they put out. All right, guys. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys on the next video. Deuces, guys. Keep hunting. Later. Bye now.